The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel is a deep dive into how our behaviors and emotions shape our financial decisions more than numbers and logic. Housel doesn't just talk about how to manage money, but rather, he explores the way we think about money, which can often be irrational, emotional, and influenced by our personal histories and the world around us. The book is structured around 19 short stories, each illustrating a different principle about the psychology of money. These aren't your typical financial advice stories. Instead, they're insightful explorations of the subtle and not-so-subtle ways our attitudes towards money impact our lives. One key idea Housel discusses is the difference between getting wealthy and staying wealthy. Getting wealthy might require taking risks, being optimistic, and sometimes just being in the right place at the right time. But staying wealthy, on the other hand, often requires frugality, caution, and the ability to ignore the temptation to risk what you have for the chance to get more. He uses the tale of a janitor who amassed an $8 million fortune by living frugally and investing wisely to illustrate this point, emphasizing that wealth is what you don't see, money that hasn't been spent. Housel also delves into the concept of luck and risk, highlighting how closely intertwined they are. He points out that both are crucial to financial outcomes but are often out of our control. For instance, he shares the story of Bill Gates attending a high school that had a computer club when most didn't, which was a stroke of luck that played a significant role in his future success. Another important theme in the book is the idea of saving as a hedge against life's unpredictability. Housel argues that saving is less about accumulating wealth and more about ensuring security and freedom. He suggests that the ability to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, for as long as you want, is the highest dividend money pays. The psychology of money also covers why we often make irrational financial decisions. Housel explains that it's because of our personal experiences and the unique ways we view the world, influenced by our upbringing and the information we consume. This subjectivity means that what works for one person financially may not work for another. Lastly, Housel discusses the importance of humility in the face of the market's unpredictability and the need for long-term thinking. He cautions against the allure of get-rich-quick schemes and emphasizes the value of compounding, both in terms of investments and personal growth. In summary, The Psychology of Money is not just a book about managing finances, it's a guide to understanding the complex relationship between our minds and money. Through compelling stories and straightforward language, Morgan Housel teaches us that the path to financial success and personal happiness is rooted in recognizing and respecting the psychological aspects of money.